Hi, I'm Nancy Berliner with HPE Technical Marketing Engineering. In this demo, I'll show how you can easily manage your storage with HPE GreenLake for block storage. The HPE GreenLake Data Services Cloud Console, or DSCC, contains several applications. In Data Ops Manager, a storage admin can manage a fleet of storage arrays, for example, monitoring the hardware and applying software updates. We'll explore the Block Storage app, where consumers can easily provision, protect, and manage storage for their applications. The Block Storage dashboard has an overview of any potential issues, plus capacity and performance. You can easily identify the top five volumes by percentage full, latency, IOPS, and throughput. And you can also see capacity usage by application. Each object is hyperlinked, so let's go check out Microsoft SQL Server. A volume set is a group of volumes that are managed together for a specific application. For example, SQL production. Each set has its own dashboard with capacity and performance overall, and you can drill down into each volume for more detailed information. Data protection is also defined by volume set, but we'll come back to that later in the demo. First, let's go to the storage area and deploy a new application. You need to select the tier of storage you'd like, and then specify the workload type plus volume and host information. You also have the option to add data protection when you're creating your application. There are pre-configured options for snapshot schedules, and if systems have been set as replication partners, remote protection options are included too. Clicking the I next to one of the fields will bring up detailed help. For example, if you'd like all the specifics of the built-in protection policies, it's right here. For my app, I'll select daily snaps with a retention period of 30 days. The built-in intelligence in the Block Storage app will find the best fit location for your application. If you don't like what you see, you can choose another option, or you can just keep the recommendation and click Continue. If Intelligent QoS is enabled on the system you've selected, you'll want to set the relative priority for your workload. Since this is a critical Oracle application, I want its performance to be protected from any less important noisy neighbor workloads on the system. So I'll change the priority level for this app to high. I can then customize the time of day I want my snapshots to be created, review the settings, and submit. The application will be created and attached to the host. The application I just created doesn't have any snapshots yet, so let's go look at a different volume set that does have snaps. The snaps on this volume were taken every 15 minutes. If I decide I want to restore to any of the snaps in the list, I can just select the one I want, and the changes to the volume will be rolled back to that point in time. We've seen the built-in protection options, so let's go create custom protection for the SQL application I showed earlier. It's easy to search for that volume set in the list. I can just start typing in the letters of the name and it will come right up. There are three different types of protection options. You can customize a snapshot schedule for the frequency you'd like, when the snaps should be taken, and how long the snaps should be retained. You can even enable coordinated snaps on both the source and target systems in a replication configuration. Another choice is asynchronous replication with RPOs of as little as one minute to hours or days. And several synchronous protection types, depending on the tier of storage you've selected. Options include synchronous long distance, where your data will be protected both locally and at a distance, standard synchronous replication, and peer persistence, HPE's automatic transparent failover technology. Once you've chosen the type of replication you'd like, just add it to your volume set. The Block Storage app will do the rest. 
including creating the volumes on the target storage. You can always come back to the volume set dashboard to monitor the protection status. And from the actions menu, you can manage replication by, for example, failing over to the target site or setting up host proximity for active peer persistence. A really helpful feature of DSCC is the technical articles that are available at all times. Just click the icon at the top of the screen and then search for whatever you'd like help with. For example, you can look for help with provisioning or even find the latest enhancements to DSCC in the release notes.